So why do we need cholesterol? Cholesterol has multifunctions in our body for our good health, and our body makes cholesterol as it is needed. So the more cholesterol we actually get from dietary sources, the less the body actually makes. And on average, our body only gets 15% of blood cholesterol from food. So our body makes up for that difference. The 85% is what our body is always producing, and it will, of course, always try to find that homeostasis in terms of the needs of the body for our cholesterol. Now your brain does need a lot of cholesterol, about 25% is needed for neuronal function, so that's for proper brain firing, and it also helps to make that myelin sheath on the outside of nerve cells and on our nerve fibers for that proper cellular communication between nerve cells. Now naturally occurring cholesterol is linked to proper mental functioning, so if we're actually looking in cholesterol, we could have poorer cognitive performance and memory. So it's something to think about for people that are taking cholesterol lowering drugs and agents to decrease their cholesterol. It may not always be the best thing when we talk about overall health. We also need cholesterol to make vitamin D and we know how important that is for our immune system and immune function. And it's interesting to note that our cholesterol production actually goes down in the summer and increases a little bit in the winter time, especially in colder temperatures. And why is that well because this is where vitamin D is made from that cholesterol our body naturally will produce a little bit more cholesterol in the colder winter months of course when we don't have as much or any of that natural sunlight exposure to make our vitamin D now we also make our cholesterol within our liver our brain and in almost every cell in our body is reliant on having that cholesterol it's really important for cell membrane function as well we also need cholesterol to make our steroid hormones so as part of the breakdown of pregnenolone, which is something that I've discussed in other videos, our sex hormones like estrogen, progesterone, and even testosterone require the right amount of cholesterol to make the pregnenolone to be able to make our sex steroid hormones as well as our stress hormones. So there's something called pregnenolone steel. So when we have a leptin problem and we have leptin resistance, what happens is that that pregnenolone preferentially is going to go towards our cortisol production and this can be very inflammatory for our body. And now we can run the risk of having an estrogen, progesterone, testosterone deficiency because of that pregnenolone from, remember, from that cholesterol is preferentially going towards that cortisol production. So this is all the more reason to fix the leptin signaling, fix the leptin resistance. If you missed my videos on that, please check them out here on YouTube. And it's really important to have enough cholesterol to generate our bile salts. And this is important for breaking down and being able to digest our fat soluble nutrients as well. Now, what does cholesterol do? Well, it helps to patch things up. So it's like plugging the holes. So whether we have damage to our endothelial, which is a razor thin lining of our blood vessels, cholesterol will go in and actually fix that damage, which may have been caused by free radicals, toxic chemicals, pathogens, and other trans fats and things that are not so healthy for our artery health. So cholesterol will go in and do that patch up job, which is a good thing, but we also need to make sure, and that's usually the, a certain type of the LDL particle that does that repair mechanism, but we also need that HDL, so that lipoprotein, the HDL goes and helps to carry out and recycle and bring those LDL particles back to the liver so that they can be removed from the body. So there's always this balance, this dance happening with our cholesterol levels, with our hormones, with our HDL and our LDL levels. Finding that proper balance with cholesterol is very important. And I've got other videos to, that discusses how you can find that proper balance. It's not so much about having high or low cholesterol. It's all about that balance. So today I talked all about the benefits of cholesterol and why we need it. I hope you have some questions or comments for me. Please drop them in the comment section below. Be sure to share this video as well. And if you've learned something new, please give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. Please subscribe and click that bell. Everyone has a calling in life and mine is to empower you to live a healthy lifestyle and of course to do it naturally. Thanks for watching.